everybody how's it going i know this is really late but we are going to finally take a look at the monster strike news hopefully you've been following eng monst if you were wondering what was happening but i mean just to be honest just work and uh, yeah, the stress of work this week um was pretty intense so um i i absolutely slept through actual news that day and just trying to get through the week was pretty rough so um decided to just relax not worry about taking this video uh it's the weekend so finally have some time to do this so uh here we go let's take a look at what happened on the 28th of october 2021 uh monster strike day of course came and went hopefully you were able to take advantage of it um there are plenty of items that you could get um also we have ebisu's uh alt alternate strike job voices you have one session left um after um you know since the last monster strike day went out and hopefully you've been taking advantage of the event to pick up your roulette pieces if you have not already you can check out my video for the details of the roulette and uh make sure you take advantage of it you have until the 16th to complete the missions and uh wait i think you have until the 14th to complete the mission 16th to actually uh pull on it also this game is of course uh has major download counts 56 million downloads worldwide, 48 million in Japan alone. Um, of course, they have a Taiwan version still alive, I believe. Um, so uh, that probably helps. And in celebration of that, we are going to get some special login rewards that will begin in a few days. Um, you can see that we will be getting uh, nice items, even that uh, super type scroll on the 12th day. Um, so don't make sure you don't miss a day because you will miss out on that nice prize at the end. Uh, this also is in addition to one orb each day. Uh, also more bonuses on the uh, starting from the 2nd to the 6th. Uh, Wakurin there will come out at two times uh, the normal rate to give you a better chance of encountering him. And on the 7th through the 12th. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Ah, there we go. From the 7th to the 12th, um, you'll get a small refresh of the co-op bonuses for the first five people, five new people you play co-op with. During that span, um, you will get one orb each. Only five people, though. Also, hopefully you're taking advantage of it right now. Uh, the Legends has a special 24% boost for each day it is uh, active, the 30th, the 31st, and the 1st. Um, each of those days you get one opportunity on a single pull and one opportunity on a 10 pull at the elevated 24% rate. Now, of course, uh, do keep in mind that the 24% is just that extra 12% you get is just removing the chance you get a garbage four star monster. It does not increase the chances of limited monsters so please be careful about that i know constantly people get a misconception on what that extra 12 percent means but the uh, exclusive monsters do not get a boost only the chance that you get a garbage monster is reduced right big difference uh koku's uh final session is active right now if you want to max lock him you better uh get him before the choju Sai leaves because that is his last opportunity and in celebration of the eight year anniversary of Monster Strike, this month's Montama, if you get it to level five or level five M, this does not require a Mon Pass, right? Either five or five M, um, it guarantees that monster to be brand new in your box. So make sure you aim for level five this month, especially. And finally, finally they're doing this. We get a new exchangeable monster from the uh, Montama uh, energy. And this features uh, Ame no Torifune. And uh, she is going to be the newest monster there. And I mean, I think the art looks pretty good there. We can take a look at her stats here. Null damage wall, null magic circle. And uh, we've got on the gauge super null speed down wall along with vital killer. Strike shot is a 16 turn. Powers up touch friendlies for a set amount of turns. We'll have to see what that multiplier is to see how impressive she may be. Um, but bomb combo is the follow-up piercing bullet, which is, you know, you mark that monster and then after she's done moving or you're done moving after hitting her, all marked targets get a piercing bullet fired at them. Um, I mean, pierce balance is a good sign for sure. Bump combo takes advantage of this possible super uh, balanced bonus there and 
three nulls, right? Damage roll, magic circle, and speed down wall. That speed down wall is a super two. So looks interesting. We'll see if she gets some good usages anywhere. Uh, we're also going to get a new area coming out, um, which is a Eikan no Togijo. Was it? Kind of like a what? Arena mm. style, right? Arena of uh, uh, Eikan. Right? Just like. Uh, can't, can't figure out a uh, translation off the top of my head. But uh, just kind of like your your boasts, your achievements, I guess. Um, you're going to be collecting trophies here. And uh, you're going to be taking on a set of special missions, um, which uh, releases over time. So when a season begins, um, you see that it's about three months worth for a season. Uh, but um, every two weeks... A new set of quests will be unlocked and your goal is to clear all six sets by the end of the season right and what does that mean exactly well <clears throat> every time a session comes up five missions get unlocked those missions will be denoted um, in terms of difficulty by a star symbol right the more stars the more difficult it will be um, however the important thing here is that for every week one week uh, you can only uh, host or solo play. Either is the same uh, mm -hmm. situation. But you can only get 10 chances for each week. And every Tuesday at noon, that 10 chances reset and you mm -hmm. can keep going. Now when it resets, your progress doesn't reset. It's just you get to try uh, 10 more times. Mm -hmm. And for each set... Um, sorry, my notifications are going crazy on my computer right now. Uh... Let's see. Anyways, um, for each set you complete, if you clear one of them, you will get uh, a bronze trophy. If you clear three of them, you'll get a silver trophy. And if you clear five of them, you will get a gold trophy. Um, and what are these trophies, you ask? Well, they will determine what rewards you can get. And some of the rewards that they show off here, you've got a fancy looking badge. You've got some special good job stickers featuring Arsene and Ebis. If you notice that the season was marked as a Arsene and Ebis uh, season. And why is that important? Because you also have the opportunity to change your app icon. Um, you know, whatever you have on your home screen. Uh, you can change it to feature one of those two monsters. And so if you are able to clear enough um, gold trophy uh, awards, then instead of the red uh, Ridora that you normally see on the icon, you can get, or was it Oregon? Yeah, sorry, Oregon now. Wow, I'm thinking way too much in the past for that. Uh, instead of Oregon, you can get Arsene or Ebis as your app icon for Monster Story. So pretty cool, right? And here are the rewards. So of course, if you just get a bronze or a silver, you get the ones at the bottom. But if you get enough golds, then the rewards will be nicer and nicer. You get five orbs for each trophy. And then you have the opportunity to get some scrolls, a waku waku stick, a uh, well, Ableberry scroll, which also unlocks the uh, Ebis uh, app icon. Uh, four trophies get you five orbs and a super type scroll and our sends app type icon uh five golds get you five orbs and ebisu's good job and six getting them all completed uh six times five stages is uh the arsen good job the special badge and of course a title and so just a summary of how it works you know again you see that blue bar where uh the first set of five quests will be unlocked and then um you have one week to get 10 attempts on it now if you clear all of them that's great you know you're set you don't have to worry about the second week but you also don't have to worry if you're failing at them you can still wait until the next week until uh you finish it however two weeks later that's when the second set of quests will get unlocked and five more quests will be added to the pool to play with you can still finish your older quests if you want and even if you took more than two weeks to finish it Right? You can still get that gold trophy in the end. And so, um, you know, then you can move on to the second set and keep going until the event runs out. 
And so again, every two weeks, a new set of five quests will come until a total of six sets are available. Um, and just one more time to be, uh, you know, thorough about it. Every week you get 10 attempts to play whichever quests you want, right? You are never locked into a certain set of quests. So there you go. And we'll see how it actually starts. It should be starting on the 2nd of November. So very soon. <clears throat> we also have a new event uh, coming up. We've got the Demon's Opera number two. And of course, these are Shakespeare themed monsters. We've got Ophelia, Cordelia, and Lear, and Hamlet as the monsters. So let's take a look at Ophelia first. And Ophelia here is in the water type. She is a super null gravity barrier, super null wind, weak point slayer, and gauge multiplier retainment on the main. Null block on the gauge. Strike shot is an 8 plus 8. Speed and power up. And will reveal all hit monsters weak points. Bump combo is a water 8 way split bomb. And a super defense down blast. Um, yeah. 3 nulls. One of them super. You also get the gauge multiplier retainment. So you don't have to worry about missing that block. And losing out attack damage. So um, <clears throat> very interesting. I don't know if you know wind gravity barrier and block have any uh, standout stages but of course you know me I don't really do the harder stages anymore so maybe some of the kinky stages will uh, have her uh, shine second gacha monster is Cordelia and the King Lear um, we've got uh, no warp super mind sweeper M Ethereum that's a Genju Slayer L that's on the main so the bump combo will take advantage of that bonus uh, gauge features soul steel and dash strike shot is an 8 plus 8 speed up and does extra damage to the weak point bump combo is a light chose to breath and a chose to blast pierce and power is her configuration there um you know warp and minesweeper that's a double only but you also get the slayer which is always nice to see especially with the chose to breath that has a lot of reach and does a lot of damage uh blast has a nice opportunity to you know uh bump all other uh friendlies combos bump combos too so um yeah there you go i don't know <laughs> i don't i'm not sure again i don't remember because this isn't right after the news which ones they may have talked about uh for being uh useful for so sorry about that for today uh last monster we've got hamlet she, he is a bounce balance type with no gravity barrier no damage wall Magic Circle Boost and Deity Fiend Slayer. That's Kami and Mao type. That's a Slayer M on both of those. Strike Shot is a 12 plus 8 speed power up and heals HP and all status effects on touch friendlies. Bump Combo is the ever fun Auto Javelin. It's a dark type and Chozetsu slashes on top of that. Um, I mean, the, of course, the, the standout thing here is that all these abilities are just on the main. There's no gauge to worry about for him, which is always cool to see. And you got three nulls there. You got gravity barrier, wall, and magic circle. Good to see. And of course, that auto javelin is going to take advantage of the deity fiend slayer. So um, you're going to be able to dish out a good amount of damage. And deity and fiends are, you know, a decently recurring um, class type of enemies. So uh, may be able to see him do just general uh, usefulness um, in the future. Um, of course, if you um, want one of those real bad, you can guarantee getting one of them by paying for this special pack, which only costs 490, sorry, 4,900 yen. Um, that's about under 50 bucks. Um, on top of that, you get 50 orbs. So, you know, it's well worth the price if you normally pay for orbs um, to guarantee one of those in your pocket. Now, for the event, we've got Lindworm as the fire uh, Chokikyoku, Chokikikyoku, whichever one it is. Uh, the harder quest um, will feature that dragon. And for the standard events, we'll get Skull and Hati in the light. And we've got Satiras in the dark element. And this event will feature that fun, fun uh, gimmick where the more you farm from this particular event, the more Tokudamas you will get. You usually get like about six or seven out of them in the end, if you also include 
uh, Monster Strike Day. So um, if you normally, you know, farm them, great, you get an extra bonus. If you normally just depend on Tokudamas on whether you want to farm or not, you know, this is one where you want to possibly think about. And for me, I tend to do these uh, quests, you know, max luck these guys when you get rewards like this because Tokudamas, you do get an opportunity to get some hits, right? And, you know, just depends on your schedule, right? So, you know, of course, and of course, first and foremost, don't burn yourself out. Very important. Uh, the transcension for this week is Percy. He, she will be available in just a few days since this is a late news edition. Um, if you want her stats, it is Super Null Wind, Status Effect Recovery, Bump Combo Boost, Strike Shot Turn Charge, Super Null Warp, and Null Speed Demo on the gauge. Strike Shot is a follow-up meteor to all hit enemies. That's an A plus 12. And the Bump Combo is a copy along with a Dark Reflect Shockwave 12. Uh, I mean, it's interesting... Of course, you know, copy would mean whatever bump combo comes along, it'll turn into a, a wood type. Um, but um, getting a dark on the, you know, second, not too bad. <clears throat> Maybe. Uh, wind, warp, and speed down wall. I mean, that's definitely, you know, the... I don't know. We'll have to see if that... That combo is kind of hard to see. So, uh, I don't know when we'll see that come into use. But, there you go. Percy's transcension and that will come next tuesday um next news will be at the same time as usual and hopefully i am not um stressed and dead in the head <laughs> next week and i'll make sure that this is available immediately but um uh, for those of you who um are here thank you and you know i really do appreciate your viewage here um, here's next week's Lucky Monsters. I know I tend to forget to post these, but um, they should be already active in game by the time you see this, uh, since it is already this next week. So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them for you. Otherwise, until next time, bye bye.